Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi guys, it's Chris from Brick and Mortar Brewing Company, and it is yet another Home Brew Wednesday. I am currently sampling and enjoying um, a beer that I talked about I think a couple times now. Um, it's for a contest by some Facebook guys um, in Wisconsin. I think that's all, they're all from Wisconsin. And uh, the contest was to brew any style of beer that you'd like and with the style of beer you had to use a candy of some sort and a spice. So I chose to use, well actually I chose to brew a brown ale and to that I um, used Hershey's Take 5 candy bars and then uh, some smoked paprika. So here's the result. Um, it's carved nicely and uh, you know it has a subtle smokiness. Um, my wife thinks that it's crazy smoky, but it's definitely not like a uh, uh, smoked malt was used. So I think it's subtle. Um, I also put uh, peanuts and cocoa nibs in the secondary. So I think I may have talked about this on another video in depth, but um, here's the actual result. So cheers, guys. Once again, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip. So yeah, I get the uh, the smokiness and the aftertaste, and definitely peanuts and the cocoa nibs come through. So I think it should do all right. Um, it's nothing, you know. It's not high stakes or anything for this competition. It's just basically uh, there's going to be a couple of judges and they're going to pick a winner. So from there, um, had a great brew day last week, Saturday. A couple of friends came over, uh, spent the day brewing and enjoying some lunch and dinner, and then afterwards we sampled, I think we were checking in roughly, I don't know, eight or ten different beers. We, were, we had different bomber bottles of different things, and so it was, it was a great time. So thanks to Derek and Chris who came out um, and spent the day with me. And what did we brew? We brewed my New England IPA, first time ever, um, and I think it went absolutely awesome. Uh, I do have some brew footage that I'm going to attach to this video, so you'll be able to see snippets of the process, and uh, we'll get you to the end result. So, actually, I do have, it's it's still, it's I mean, it's only been um, four days now, so I dry hopped my first dry hop edition on Tuesday, so three days after uh, pitching the yeast, and... I put about four ounces into each five gallon carboy for my first round. So all in all, I think I'm going to end up using roughly um, 16 or 17 ounces of hops for a 10 gallon batch. So pretty hefty amount, but I just wanted to show you the uh, the results so far. I mean, it's it's looking exactly like I had hoped. I don't know if that's a little extreme there, but uh, it looks juicy. Um, the smell is incredible. Yeah, it, uh, the dry hops are so prevalent right now, but, um, once I transfer to secondary, I'm going to dose it with another batch of dry hops. So I think it's going to be really awesome. Uh, what hops did I use? I used mosaic. We'll get that one out of the way. Um, citra. We'll get that one out of the way. But then I added two that I don't know if they're being used quite as uh, frequently. And one of them is Mandarina Bavaria. And the other one is a hop called Zythos. And man, when I opened that Zythos hop, all I could smell was absolute, just wonderful, orangey, star fruity, just incredible uh, smells of, of uh, tropical fruits. So... I think it's a good combination. And then um, thanks to Kevin Clements from Clements Homebrew, um, I uh, 
uh, got wind of something that he was using. Uh, he used a brand of yeast from Oregon called um, Imperial Organic, and he showed me their product line. And they have a, a yeast called Juice. Uh, the product line is A38, and it comes in a little five ounce can. And you actually pitch it cold. So I made a starter, and uh, there's 200 billion yeast cells in each can, which is twice as much as the Y yeast Smack Packs. And the price point wasn't much different. I mean, it was like $9.99, and then uh, like priority mail shipping for two cans was six bucks. So it came out to about $13, 12 to $13. A can, which I think is totally reasonable for the amount of cells you get. Uh, when they arrived in the mail, they were still cold. It came from Chicago. Um, there was actually a place that had them. And uh, man, I you'll see in the footage that the the product is absolutely amazing. Um, I had to. I had no idea what to expect. So here I'm trying to run the you know camera and and do this yeast starter. So you'll see what I went through to get the yeast out of the can, but in the bottom there is just some massive sludge of yeast waiting to be pitched. So, um, but yeah, it uh, so far it's definitely turning out wonderful. So I am super stoked about it. <clears throat> so I will definitely include all of that video footage for you guys to hopefully enjoy. And besides that, Secondary for my pale ale and my black IPA with coffee beans. And then I'll probably be kegging my Hellas soon. So lots of lots of beer for that uh, company min miniature golf outing for vendors that we do. Um, and I think I'll be bringing a bunch of beer to NHC. So looking forward to getting together with all you guys that are going to meet meet up there. So. Outside of that, I'm going to try to keep this short because I know I have quite a few minutes of footage to attach to the end. So, man, as I look today, I think I'm at 99 subscribers. Holy crap. I am just on the cusp of that 100 mark. How exciting is that? Thanks to all you who have subscribed. Definitely appreciate it. All you who comment, it's awesome. Um, I noticed I got one thumbs down on my last video. Don't know why. Might, might have been a troller. I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, keep on brewing, keep on enjoying the craft beer, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Happy Homebrew Wednesday once again. Till next time, cheers. <laughs>